uh, Ahmed appeared before Runcorn Magistrates Court a few moments ago. They were together in the dock, holding hands uh, as they heard the charge read out against them, and that charge one of murder of their own daughter. Now, they didn't say much in this hearing. They just confirmed their own personal details. As I say, they heard the charge, and they were told that they would be remanded into custody, and they would appear before the Crown Court via video link at the end of the week. Now, they were arrested this morning by officers from Cheshire Police who went to the home, uh, arrested them, questioned them at the police station and then charged them. And this is a story, Kay, which has twisted and turned for the last seven years. Shafilia Ahmed, a 17-year-old girl from Warrington who had aspirations to be a solicitor, a lawyer, eventually a barrister, but she disappeared uh, in, fe in September 2003 and it wasn't until February 2004 that her dismembered body was discovered at a, at a river on the outskirts of the Lake District in Cumbria uh, and after that uh, police launched what has become a very long and it's sometimes arduous murder investigation where suspicion has flown all over the place but until today you know not many major developments but now this is quite significant uh, the parents charged with murder they will appear before the Crown Court and of course as I say this story has twisted and turned for many years. What happened to Shafilia Ahmed has been a mystery ever since she went missing from her home in Warrington in 2003. And today, her parents have been charged with her murder. In 2004, four months after she went missing, the teenager's body was found here by the River Kent in Cumbria. At the time, police launched a murder investigation. Shafila's body was obscured by overgrowth and was found by workmen who were at the location after floodwaters receded. This police press conference was in 2004. Shafilia Ahmed's parents were already under arrest on suspicion of killing their daughter, but they always protested their innocence. Here, they arrived unannounced and spoke through their solicitor. They strenuously deny any direct or indirect involvement in their daughter's untimely demise. If called upon to do so, they will not hesitate to defend their good and unblemished names in any court in this land. But police dropped their investigation against Shafilia Ahmed's parents and no charges were brought. And after nine months of hell, what do you expect? So we're just too upset to talk about it yet. But in 2010, the police investigation gathered pace. There was a burglary here at the family home in Warrington. Shafilia Ahmed's sister was arrested on suspicion of robbery. Police searched the house. And for a second time, Iftikhar and Fasana Ahmed were arrested. Later today, they'll appear in court charged with their daughter's murder. Ed Thomas, BBC News.